Hi, my name is Michael Tunnell, Visuex.com, and project member of the UGET team. Uh, this video is to explain how to use batch downloading in UGET. There are many different ways to use it, so I'm going to show you, uh, hopefully, as many as you possibly can have. I'm pretty sure I got them all. There might be a couple more. Um, so, first off, I just want to explain. Uh, if you're using anything but Ubuntu 1204, this video will not apply to you completely because uh, you won't have this global menu. Uh, you'll have probably the menu down here underneath the window decoration title. Uh, if you don't have it there, I don't know where it would be, so you know, good luck with that one. But you just need to have access to this menu. And uh, secondly, I want to apologize for the crappy audio. I don't have an external, okay, I do have an external mic, I just don't know where it is. I will find it for the next video, maybe, probably, I don't know, we'll see. Anyway, so let's get started, we're going to go to file, and you can see there's importing HTML files, importing text files, and then you can go to new, and there's bash downloading, and there's clipboard downloading, and the bash download needs to be renamed because it's not obvious what that does. Okay, anyway. So, let's get started. We're going to start with uh, the clipboard. I don't know why I paused. <laughs> I have no idea. It wasn't the video. It was me. Uh, anyway. So, we're going to right click, select all right click copy or control A control C of course and then you go to file new from clipboard and you see it in injected all the URLs uh, as it should and just click forward and then there's all these uh, various options and I'm going to address most of these uh, in future videos but for now I'm just going to do the basics and that is the status option uh, runnable and pause. The difference between the two is that one is an automatic uh, download and the other one is a manual download. Runnable is going to be the automatic. So the way it works is if, let's say, you have three downloads at a time set in your preferences. If you put in ten URLs, it's only going to download those first three and then have the rest, the other seven in a queue waiting to be downloaded. So as soon as one of the first three finishes, one of the, the seven left will start and you know continue the downloading. So it will uh, queue everything up for you and you won't have to worry about having to keep you know for telling it to start. Uh, pause is if case you want to add your URL for, for now and then download it later like you know hours from now or something because then you'll have to manually download it or manually select it to be runnable. So there is a good purpose to have the pause, uh, but if you're trying to download right now and Im immediately, then it's not that you know it's not very useful. But uh, let's say um, you have also have a server that requires a username and password, so you can just type in your username and password here and download it from the server if it needs it. But mine doesn't, so I'm taking that out. And then there's uh, more settings like you know, max speeds and things like that, but we'll get to those later. You click OK, and the download finishes, and you can just open or open containing folder, and um, then there's also delete and delete data. We're going to rephrase these a little bit, so then in the future they're not going to be these uh, particular titles. Uh, but right now, what it means is delete means it's going to remove it from UKIT, but it's going to keep the file on your computer. Whereas delete file and data is going to delete it from UGIT and delete the file itself. So I'm going to do that because it's just demo pictures. And next I'm going to show you this uh, UGIT bash downloads demo.txt uh, means it's a text file. And we're going to go to file, import text file. And we're going to import it. And as you see, it just gets the same result as the other ones. As the clipboard, I mean, and you'll have the same settings and everything. Just click. I'm gonna change that to pause to show you. And click OK. And as you can see, the files have not started, and they won't start until I force them to, or set them as runnable. 
And to set them as runnable, it's quite easy. You just right click, runnable, and then start, and then download. Or you can select multiples by holding shift and grabbing it. And you can, uh, instead of right clicking, you can instead click this play button, and that sets it as runnable. And uh, again, I don't want these. <laughs> So that's how you use text file importing. Now, HTML importing is going to work the same way as the text, it's just using a different file format. And now let's go into batch downloading. Now, this is really uh, not phrased correctly, we're going to change that. But right now, it, it's, a, it's basically it's a URL sequence download. Uh, so, I'll just go ahead and open it for you. And you, as you can see, there's a, a default example URL with this asterisk right here, and I'll show you what that means. So let's say you have a URL that you're going to download from example.com slash path to file slash file name 01.jpg. Now let's say you have uh, 01 all the way through 100 or something. Now, as you can see, you can have these set up for you in a text file and then come in here and then manually change them in a sequence and that will work but it's not the fastest way to do it if you have if you have files like this so if you do have files like this instead what you're going to do is change this 01 to an asterisk and that will inject this uh, sequence so as you can see it starts from 0, 0, 0, 1, uh, all the way to 10 now let's say you don't have a 0, 0, you start at 0, 1. All you need to do is click this from, go up to 1, and it changes it right here. Now let's say you have more than 10, and you say well, we have 30. You're just going to type in 30, click enter, and then it adjusts it down here, and it tells you it's going to get everything between. Now you can go as far as you want, you know, as far as you need to, of course, but uh, this is just a demo, of course. So anyway, let's say you have all these files like this, but you don't have this uh, leading zero on your on your files. You just have one .jpg, and you just go up here and change the digits to one. It removes the leading zero, but it keeps the double digit on the uh, file names that have more than one digit. So it's not going to remove that part. It's still going to work with it, however many you need. So if you have a hundred. It'll still keep up to three, uh, you know, all the three digits and so on. And if you have more than one uh, leading zero, you can add as many as you need to. And now you click forward, or actually no, you go to from, and it also works with yet letters and just not just numbers. So uh, same concept. But then you'll go to click forward, and you have the same settings as you would with the rest of the batch downloads. And we're going to ignore this because you know, this example is not real. So I'm just going to close this. And that's how you use the batch downloadings uh, that are into the interface of UGIT. Now there's another way of doing a batch download which I find very useful and quite often use. <laughs> and that's not that. That's not that either. Sorry about that. I'm right now I'm using GTK to record my desktop uh, because I can't, can't find a better solution. Uh, even though it sucks, I still can't find a better solution. Because FFmpeg works flawlessly in video and then the audio sync is terribly off. And then Kazam works every single possible way perfectly fine except it doesn't get the global menu at all which kind of defeats the purpose unless you do the whole screen, I don't want to do the whole screen whatever anyway so let's say uh, you ha like you want to use you can you have the, you find these URLs that you have on a web page uh, you can use FlashGot to send those to UGIT so there's, uh, there's this add-on for Firefox called FlashGot you just click add to Firefox of course and FlashGuard is an awesome 
uh, extension I'll go in further detail in another video but uh, right now I just want to show you this way to do batch with it so I have flash got installed and just so you know there's a, a program called flash git that's awful and has some you know adware and all kinds of crap wrong with it that's not what this is that's that's flash git not flash got and I don't know why they picked that name but they did anyway so you're just gonna select these URLs highlight them click flash flash got and then click flash got selection that will take those URLs and inject them into the user interface of you get now I do want to point out there is one slight bug with this method and that is it will add the first URL again at the end now it doesn't hurt anything and it's not a, a bug that's going to break anything it's just more of an irritant bug which we are working on so in one of the next releases we will have it fixed um, so in the meantime all you need to do is uncheck that or download it twice whatever you want to do <laughs> and you click forward and you have the same uh, setup except this time you have a referral a referrer and you know that's typical but anyway and you just click OK and your files will start and they will download and they will finish because they are pictures anyway I just want to thank you for uh, watching my name is Michael Tunnell with Visuex.com and you get project member and uh, if you're interested in learning more about UGIT, please subscribe to the video channel. Uh, click like uh, if you like this video, please. And uh, share it as much as possible. Share it on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, all that stuff. If you, um, if you don't use YouTube, you can ignore the first two things. But anyway. So once again, I want to thank you for watching. Uh, and uh, this has been UGIT Tutorial. Happy downloading.